Uh, this looks good. Yeah, this looks good. Flat there, and then these little lying trees in this area. It'll work out well. So. The intent for that piece, it is to show neutrino impacts. These very tiny particles that arrive from the sun, that comes with the solar wind. It sort of penetrates everything in the world, us, the planet, whatever. As you can see, a lot of science comes into my art. That'll look good. I like making work which tend to bring out the invisible. I try to make it visible. Now I'm gonna convert that into a digital field by adding ones with the zeros. Ones and the zeros make up the binary code for our digital technology that we have today. You could call me a traveler. I do go to several places and I like to show where I have been. Mainly it seems to be that I go for this sort of like movement over the Earth's surface rather than having, let's say, making objects which would be on the walls or on pedestals in museums. Some real sexy shots here. Can you see me? By keep myself having an air of being a private person, looking normal, I can come into any situation without people knowing that I'm there, and I do it, I've taken my pictures, and I'm gone. Parachutists, come in, do and go. Say yay. Fini. I guess you could say I'm one of the pioneers in this part of the world, in, in Canada, in this sort of stuff. It's all stuff, actually. Eh? We just pile it up a different way, and we use other words for it, but I guess you could say it's just stuff. <laughs> but in a very pleasant way.